guys, it's Camera Fanime Chat Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. I do hope you enjoy. Bunny Senpai is an anime about the awkward and scary growing pains of puberty and the social pressures of high school life in the modern age. Unlike most high school anime, this series ends up standing out as a fresh and unique coming of age tale for this generation. When I first sat down to watch this anime, I couldn't help but roll my eyes at the story that was presented to me. Great, another etchy slice of life anime to suffer through as the first episode did nothing to sway my suspicions. The main character sees an inappropriately dressed girl in a library and realises he's the only one who can see her. Throwing the big brother complex the main character's sister has, and by halfway through the first episode, I was already discounting this anime. However, what follows is a touching and pure story that gives an in-depth look into adolescence, filled with reflections of human behaviour and emotions during teenage years and school life, with a large emphasis on how teenagers perceive self-worth. Our main character is Sakata Asazagawa, and he wins the most annoying slash difficult name award for any character we've had to do a review for so far. Anyways, Sakata has recently become aware of a phenomenon known as Adolescent Syndrome, which has affected both him and his sister, Kaede. Adolescent Syndrome is taking the normal symptoms and anxieties of puberty and enhancing them to insane and supernatural levels. He realises this is what is happening to the girl he met in the library, whom he recognises as Mai Sakurajima, a fierce and headstrong celebrity and a senior at his high school, who has quite literally disappeared from the public eye as one day she woke up and almost no one in the world could see her or even remember her. After convincing Mai that he has an idea of what is happening and how to fix it, they form a relationship that may very well be the healthiest and most realistic I have ever seen in an anime for an extremely long time. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg as Sakata and Mai find themselves being dragged into the drama and phenomenon of the other students that appear to be suffering from adolescent syndrome. Sometimes this can lead to fun episodes of self-discovery, and others can leave you feeling emotionally drained and broken once the credits roll. This is one of the great beauties of this anime as it completely subverts expectations and delivers a story full of emotional growth and complexity. This is something that no one expected from an anime called Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Especially when the cover looks like this. Bunny Girl Senpai is a show that lives and dies by how well realised its characters are, and the writing in the series stands out as some of the best in years. The character dialogue is fresh and the relationships they show are believable. Sakata especially is written cleverly and everything he seems to say adds more to his character. His dry wit, sarcasm and patronising demeanour are unmatched except for when he is trying to tease Mai, who is the only character in this show that is able to keep up with his quick wit. These conversations are the foundation of the anime as they are our main source of connection to the characters as we are jumping into a world that is already in motion, so we draw a lot of context from the conversation. Each of the characters is beautifully designed yet simple and not overly complicated, as they are still all school students and there is not much variation to their outfits. However, it is very clear that the animators spent a lot of time on the slight facial features and the eyes of each character because they stand out among the mundanity of the beautifully designed backgrounds and the flood of uniform students in the scenes. The music also helps with building this world and its significant moments, as the soundtrack is varied and versatile. It has a few standout tracks to fit each mood, and they are used effectively to build tension or to indicate light-hearted scenes. This is not a new or standout technique by any stretch, but it is extremely well implemented and worth noting. The opening and closing of this anime should be praised as they are both beautiful and complement the anime in different ways. First of all, the opening is beautifully animated and matches the song Kimi no Sei by the Peggy's perfectly, as it focuses on the main characters and their personalities. The closing, however, is rather unique, or at least it is for me, as it has subtle changes in the animation as the characters walking along the beach during the closing are those that Sakata has helped during the current episode. This good little character self-reflection also gives the viewer time to reflect as well, assisted by the soft and calm melody that accompanies it. I know I have said it multiple times in this review, but Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai is an amazing subversion of expectations and it shines a fresh yet occasionally confronting light on a genre and subject matter that has felt rather stagnant for some time. Because of this fact, I wholeheartedly believe that Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai deserves its S rank. It is always rare to find a well-told story of puberty and the struggles of teenage life that doesn't sugarcoat its content, 
or leans so far into trying to be relatable that it completely misses the point. But Bunny Girl Senpai proves that there is a way to tell a poignant and relatable story that is, at the end of the day, about people, the relationships we create, and the value we place into social ideals for better or for worse. It doesn't pull its punches and it shows real human relationships in such a compelling way that you can't help but be swept up in the love story between Sakata and Mai. Thanks for watching the video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it and I would be honoured if you liked our video and subscribed to our channel as it really helps us out. And hopefully we see you all again in the next video. See ya!